Hello, welcome to Clarity PPM video series. I am Viv Merotra, product manager for Clarity PPM, and today I'll be talking about links. Links was a functionality that is included in uh, Clarity PPM Modern UX for a long time. However, starting 15.5 or Clarity PPM version 15.5, we added the functionality in links to support context-sensitive parameters. When you now define links in projects, you can pass project-specific information to those links. The tooltips will display and resolve the parameter. And you can pass five context-sensitive parameters. The five sensitive parameters are project code, project ID, project manager, username, and project name. In this video, I will show you how to create the following four links. We will link to Rally Investments. We will create a link to PM Alerts dashboard in the classic UI. We will create a link to the project's sub object in the classic UI. And we will create a link to the project status summary report in Jaspersoft. I will switch over to the product. I am here in uh, Clarity 15.6. And in the modern UX, I'm going to navigate to my project where I will create links. Within my project, as I go to the links module, I can see by default there are no links defined. To create a link, I can just click on the add link and I can specify the URL and the name I want for this link. I can also define a category for my link. So the first link I'm going to create is to rally. I'm going to navigate over. This is the link I want in my project. So I will just copy this. I can paste it give it a name and I will create this under a new category called project execution. So by clicking on the new category, it created the new entry and I can give it a name called project execution. The second link I want to create is to uh, PM alerts dashboard in the classic UI. To do that, I can navigate to the classic UI. I can copy the link and add it under my links module. But instead of creating this under project execution, I want this to be created under a new category called reports. Next, I want to create a link to my sub object under my project. In this case, I always want to make sure that when I click on the link, it'll take me to the project specific to wherever I am at without hard coding the project ID. So first, I need to go and get the link. This is my sub object called compliance. Under compliance, I already have data defined and I want to have a link directly to this sub object. I can copy the link. create a new entry under project execution, paste it, and then anywhere there is the 5 million number hardcoded, I can replace it with the context sensitive value. In my case, it's going to be internal ID. I can replace this 
everywhere there is the 5 million number for my project. And click away and my link is created. If I forget to rename it, I can always go back in to edit it and rename my link to the value I want. Now, if I was to test this, I can click on any of these links that I've created. Hovering over gives me the full URL and clicking on it opens it in a brand new tab. So now I have my project PM alerts that I can see in under my classic that is defined. I can click on my compliance again hovering over shows me the 5 million number has been automatically populated and clicking on it will take me directly to my projects compliance sub object. And clicking on rally takes me to the rally investments page in a new tab. The last link that I want to create is a link to my Jaspersoft report. And in this example, I'm going to use the project status summary report. In order for me to create that, there are a few information I need to know. One, I need to know the URL to my report. To get that URL, I can go to my Jaspersoft admin page. And in this case, I've logged into my Jaspersoft. I can navigate to my repository. Under the repository, I can navigate down to the specific report that I want, which is under reports. I can click on my report, which is the project status summary. And that will give me the URL to my project. I can copy that. Go under reports, create a new link. The next I want to make sure is that when I click on the link, the report is ready to execute for my specific project and not just the uh, standard report. In order for that to happen, there are a few additional information that I need in my project link. To know what those informations are, I need to go and edit my project status summary report. I need to go into the controls and resource. This is where it tells me what are the input parameters for my specific report. When I navigate down under input control, I can see all the parameters that this report will take. The two specific one that I'm concerned about is the populate project because I know that this parameter will automatically populate the list of projects for my report. And the second is the project key one, which is the ID for my project that I want to run the report for. I also want to uncheck the always prompt in order to make sure that it doesn't prompt me for uh, input value. I can save this and go into my report links and add the additional parameters. In my case, I have saved those values. So I am going to just copy and paste it. And I am also using the context sensitive parameters to automatically pass my project ID. So here is the value for populating the project names in the report input. And here is the parameter where my project ID is going to be passed. And there is an additional parameter that Jaspersoft provides me that allows me to hide 
the Jaspersoft menu links. And I'm going to pass that also. Now, when I click on this, my report should get executed where I can see the data for my specific project. BI Analytics, and I can see my status report for my specific project. So in this video, we covered how to create links to external application, how to create links to sub objects of a project, as well as create a link to a report in Jaspersoft. All the information that I covered are also available to you in our online documentation. Thank you for watching the video.